The following presentation shows the main concepts and associated technologies of the anti-collision system that is designed to meet the requirements of the latest International Air Transport Association's AHM 913 standard. Impact damage is an ongoing threat of major concern, particularly with the new generation of aircraft coming into service, which have a significant percentage of their structure made of composites and are exposed to external sources of impact. The main objective of the AHM 913 standard is to specify the basic safety requirements for all self-propelled ground support equipment in order to achieve the goal of eliminating the possibility of aircraft being damaged. All ground support equipment manufactured after the 1st of July 2018 shall comply with this standard. There are three main zones in relation to an aircraft covered by the standard. Ramp area, equipment restraint area and docking area. The maximum speed limit in the ramp area is mandated by the airport and is usually 25 km per hour. When ground support equipment enters the equipment restraint area, a zone 8 metres away from the aircraft, it is expected that the operator will manually engage tortoise mode, either by the dedicated switch on the dashboard or by raising the platform. In tortoise mode, the speed is limited to 6 km per hour and when engaged, the external beacon is activated for supervision purposes. The anti-collision system is active all the time and it doesn't require the operator to switch it on. It constantly measures the distance to the closest object and informs the operator when to engage the tortoise mode. The confirmation is shown on the display when the tortoise mode is engaged. When ground support equipment reaches the docking area, the system will automatically engage snail mode. In snail mode, the speed is limited to just 0.8 km per hour. The dashboard display confirms that snail mode is active. When within approximately half a metre of an aircraft, the system automatically applies the brake and inhibits the forward drive in order to eliminate any possibility of crashing into an aircraft. Only reverse direction of movement is permitted. Final positioning to an aircraft is provided by the telescopic platform, which will automatically stop within a few centimetres of the fuselage. If any of the safety bumper switches are activated during the operation, the system immediately enables lockout of the machine. It means that the brake is applied automatically, forward drive is disabled, movement of the telescopic platform is disabled and a time-stamped log entry is created and viewable via the dashboard display. The lockout can only be reset by overriding it with the key. The system works on a fail-safe principle and in the event of the aircraft proximity detection system failing, ground support equipment will default to snail speed. Thank you for taking the opportunity to watch this video.